Well, Dr. Nachi Sinha is back with us here for one last time. It's the final week, and this latest chapter is called How's Your Constipation? How is your constipation, by the way? <laughs> I'm doing fine, thank you for asking, Toby. <laughs> it was, I'm glad to be back. It's nice to see you care about my constipation too. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an important subject. I think it's a bit of a taboo, <laughs> it is, isn't it, really? It is important. And, and that was the idea, right? I mean, the idea was that uh, many times in our lives we find people who, who you know, who might be well-meaning and might not be. That doesn't even matter. But, but you know, the tendency to ask too many questions yeah. and, uh, and get nosy. For example, uh, how's it going? What happened? And, you know, these questions are embarrassing questions because not because I'm embarrassed about them, but because they're close to my heart about my personal life. Just because somebody knows something doesn't give them the right to go on about it like you know in grocery stores or in a, in a restaurant that matter so so the 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 point of course was that uh, uh sometimes you know um, asking or hinting that i don't want to talk about it is not enough yeah and and when it isn't then then the, the situation was that you're approached by somebody in in the grocery store and and then they start asking you about something that happened or and you don't want to talk about it and what you don't want to do and one of the tricks to do is actually to in a really loud voice look at them and go, that's all right, we're talking about it, but how's your constipation? <laughs> yeah. And that usually scares them and they run away. It really <laughs> works. And this one, I've had people try it out and it works. So the point there is, is that this person, you know, who actually gets so embarrassed about something as meaningless and perhaps not even true about them as constipation in front of a bunch of strangers, that they would run away. And yet they would expect you to answer your deepest, deepest thoughts, right? And yeah. things that are actually troubling to you. And they almost feel entitled that you've got to give that answer. So how are you becomes, well, tell me about what happened last month or the year before in detail of when, when I failed my exam. I want to talk about it. Let's talk about your constipation. Yeah. And from the other side, maybe sometimes we think we know someone well enough, we're close enough to someone. Yeah to be allowed to ask those questions and then we do and we yeah. realize we weren't as close as we thought but then Toby, there's also this point about you know closeness and and and, and spaces and places right i mean mm. so if that person is actually so close to me and when asked how's your constipation maybe they should start keep staying there and tell me how their constipation was mm -hmm. so the issue here is <laughs> what is right or wrong or good or bad the issue here is what is private and what's not Mm. right so the, the point about the constipation bit is that it's private yeah. you know the, the only person i would talk to about my bowel movements would be my doctor <laughs> yeah. you know not even somebody who are uh, who would claim that they really care about me or if you love me baby tell me how your bowel movements were i don't think anybody uses that i mean i hope not as, mm. a, as a sign of proof of love or how close yeah. one is yeah. i think that was an old barry white song wasn't it <laughs> Or maybe, maybe there was. <laughs> yeah. And I suppose, why did you choose constipation out of all the embarrassing things it could have been? Well, I, I had two, two, two front runners, hemorrhoids <laughs> and constipation. So yeah. I thought hemorrhoids would be too graphic. So I thought, you know, I'll be a bit nice here, you know, what with constipation. So I'm trying to be nice, Toby. You know, yeah. I'm allowed to be nice once in a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. What actually gave you the idea to write this whole book in the first place? Well, it was you know it 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 kind of kind of became a, a bit um, sort of uh, many people were coming up and saying that you know you should get your analysis. People in my clinic, for example, my patients would talk about something else, and then I would try to explain something with an analogy, and they would say, <laughs> you know, can I can I record what you're saying and so on. So it sort of became more than one person saying that you should sort of write something down. And then I realized, and I was like, and brushed them off, and then I said, no, don't worry about it. I realized it was purely because of my own laziness that I wasn't writing it down. And um, and then, you know, then I thought that couldn't be a good enough reason. But then still, it, it was an effort because it's uh, it had to be constantly chopped up and had to constantly make an effort to uh, keep it as small as possible. Because my concern, Toby, is that when I'm kind of feeling a bit, you know, blue and not feeling up to it, and I want something to read and, you know, sort of a self-help thing, guess what I get? A really thick, fat book. Of, I can't read that thick, fat book yeah. when I'm already struggling, you know? So I didn't want to be that. I wanted to be able to read one chapter 
which was three pages and which was actually a story. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even telling me that greet me and you'll be helped. I don't want that burden. What if I don't get helped by that chapter? So I want to carry the responsibility. But I can definitely read a story. Mm-hmm. And if by reading the story, I get something out of it, well and good. Yeah. And it's quite good that you manage to give people a lot of help in each chapter. They're, they're only about three pages long. Yes, yes. And, and trust me, but it took me a long time to write it because to to get the idea and then to sort of uh, keep, uh, you know, bringing it down and down and down was, um, you know, was a bit tricky. And, and in the sense that it's so easy to make it bigger and, and the publisher was going on about will turn a chapter into a book and I was going in the in the opposite direction and mm. so yeah I'm glad you liked it thank yeah. you for saying that yes well the latest book for the latest book just the book by Dr. Nachi Sinha is called Empowered and Strong Navigating Safely Through the Storms of Life and we've had him on 10 times now so if you're not interested yet there's not really much else we can do so where can we find the book if we are interested yeah I think I think the e-versions are available to be I mean you know Amazon 19 those kind of places that have the e-version the, yeah. the paperback and all that I mean that's available too but uh, I think the the publisher has them priced quite high and I don't recommend that and don't tell them I said that but <laughs> but these days I mean an e-reader you know iTunes or whatever that's that's very easy to use so yeah yes great well many thanks for joining us today for the 10th time you've broken the record you broke the record about six weeks ago for the most appearances of a guest well there you go i guess popularity wins toby that's what this is about